your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by Angelic Health Palliative and Hospice Care. Wherever you call home, Angelic Health will meet your needs with a customized care plan for patients with a chronic and or terminal illness. Visit angelic.health for more info. Hope your Sunday is going fantastic for you. I'm meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast this afternoon. Clouds continue to filter and thicken out there, and that's why temperatures really haven't moved much since lunchtime today. 82 in Hamilton, 82 in Vineland, 79 in Dover, 68 in Lancaster. Wow, with the cloud cover really pushing in there. 76 along the shore in Asbury Park, 75 in Atlantic City. So definitely starting to see that south to southeasterly flow out there. And unfortunately, as we head through the rest of this afternoon on into the evening, you start to feel those dew points rise just a bit as the cloud cover pushes in and give us a chance of seeing those showers develop starting tomorrow. But we'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's take a look for the uh, dew points right now. We're starting to see them rise up a little bit into the 60s at the moment. Now will continue to be the case as we head into the overnight hours, which will allow the uh, showers and the storms begin to form at least into tomorrow morning on through at least Wednesday on and off. Not a washout scenario, but still obviously going to see a little bit more muggier conditions than we've been dealing with, obviously, this gorgeous weekend that we had. Futurecast right now, low pressure systems right now sitting out in the Ohio Valley. That's going to dig down to the south and then pick up moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. That's why we're going to have a chance of seeing some showers and storms out there and the potential for seeing some steadier to heavier rain, especially I think more into Tuesday, I think is the better chance of seeing that. But overall, the good news is we're not going to see a washout with the scenario. We'll see off and on showers and storms dumping a decent amount of rain in a short amount of time. But at least we'll get some breaks in between so we have to do any kind of decent flooding out there. And we could certainly use the moisture and the, and the uh, rainfall out there. So it digs out to South Carolina. And then we'll start to move up the coast here, off the coast of Maryland. And eventually will push us into, um, into off our coast here as we see the rainfall continue to push in off the ocean itself. And it'll then move up into the Gulf of Mexico, uh, excuse me, Gulf of Maine, and then eventually send down the clouds that will filter out of here as we head into Thursday. Thursday's looking fantastic, by the way. So we can just hold on for those couple days worth of rainfall off and on. We certainly benefit from it. Obviously, not only getting the rainfall, but then we'll see a nice day on Thursday. Tomorrow, we'll see mostly cloudy skies, scattered showers and storms out there. 78 will do it with that easterly flow around eight miles per hour gusting to near 15 and 20, especially if you're along the shoreline. So definitely a raw day, possibly, as we head out and about along the shoreline. Take a look at uh, the upper air pattern. So we're stuck in this, uh, I shouldn't say stuck, but we got into at least a blip into the jet stream where it got the dip near us. So that's some good news out there. But what's going to happen is because of that dip, it developed this upper level low pressure system. You can start to see it as it continues to push on up into New England. And that will continue to be the case for us as we head into the end of the week. And as I mentioned, Thursday being a decent day, August, and we're talking about blues just to our north. Wow, that's definitely some cooler air out there, t- kind of reminding us that, yes, it's still August, but... We're only one month away from September where we can see possibly that autumn-like weather that does, does pop up every once in a while for us in September. So looking very nice all the way through as we head into Sunday. Maybe another chance of seeing maybe a shower or two with a low-pressure system that's going to move from, east, from west to east out of the Great Lakes. And then another low-pressure system starts to form here in the middle of part of the country. And that will make its way also off to the east maybe for the middle of next week. Showers and storms Tuesday, 77 degrees will do. Wednesday, less of a chance, but still seeing the chance of showers and storms. Thursday, clear out. We're looking pretty nice out there. Friday, a little bit warm, but then Saturday and Sunday, we cool off a bit with a chance of showers and maybe some storms on Sunday and Monday. So looking pretty nice, at least in temperatures, for most of next weekend. Have a great afternoon, everybody. I'll see you this evening.